I'm Philip A. Sharp. I'm an institute professor at MIT. I'm Bill Hahn. I'm a medical oncologist and cancer researcher at the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute and the Broad Institute of Harvard and MIT. Well, this conference goes back to the first special conference 30 years ago, which really was a milestone in thinking about how to organize conferences and bring people together to think about cancer. 30 years in the future, we have a lot of special conferences that focus on um, the here and now and the, the exciting work that's being done in many fields. But what this conference is going to do is take a look forward and say, what are the new areas of science that we haven't anticipated would be important in cancer that are now starting to have great influence in cancer? And one of the major things is we have to bring this convergence of big data, artificial intelligence, prediction all together. And the objective is to raise the visibility in the whole scientific community, both in this country and around the world of the importance now of this convergence of being able to bring all that information together to identify patients early in their disease state, treat them, and basically be able to, in essence, cure them or prevent them from developing cancer. So this meeting is going to think broadly about new technologies as well as the influx of data. I think if we think about everything in our world, data now plays a central role in making things more efficient, allowing us to do things we've never been able to do, but also think about how we can analyze and learn more about cancer and, and uh, its causes and its treatments. The other part that I think is really exciting, not only in cancer, but in, in all fields, is what is the future of artificial intelligence? Well, can it be used? How can it best be used? Where is it not appropriate uh, for it to, to think about using? I think these are questions that are early on, and this conference is going to try to grapple with these topics and try to figure out um, where should we think about this as a field. The meeting on artificial intelligence, big data, and prediction of cancer is going to be one of those watershed moments in young investigators' lives. A young investigator is going to hear and then have access to meet the people who are really creating this new field. And the field is so embryonic, so new and incomplete, and it hasn't, there's such powerful forces in, in IT, information, computation, artificial intelligence that are coming to be applied to, to this problem of cancer, that it really should be viewed as an educational experience as much as a research meeting. I think what we're undergoing in biology in general is a transition between a more observational type science to one that's more computationally uh, rigorous. And um, I see in my own work and in my own lab that the younger generation of scientists uh, who are now working in biology are much more sophisticated in terms of computation. And so I think this is going to be a venue where that becomes central and uh, one of the topics of how do you best use that and, and I think that that will be an exciting place for uh, young people to, to develop those skills and think broadly and contribute to the thinking. It's very hard to visualize the future in a, in, in a valid way. And it's very hard for a young person to position themselves with a skill set and a knowledge set and, and working community to be prepared to be part of it. And that's what this conference is. It's going to look 10 and 20 years ahead. It's not what we did yesterday that's in the journals. It's what we're going to be doing 10 years and 20 years from now to really change cancer research and science in general.